so they threw up the Japanese. And meanwhile, Russians, after throwing up the Japanese, decided to stay in Port Arthur. Right, so they refused. So they just like, okay, throw up the Japanese. We're going to stay here just to make sure that the Japanese don't come again. Japanese sneak up from behind, scares them, uh, alarms them, and kicks them out in 1904-1905. And that was the Russo-Japanese War. The Russo-Japanese War was over Manchuria uh, because Russia and Japan competed over Manchuria. In 1890, Russia also wanted Korea. And uh, at that time, uh, Britain came out of isolationism and allied with Japan to contain Russia. Remember, during that time, that's when they had all the triple alliance, triple entente, the whole alliance system. World War One was was happened as was was um, on its way. The cause of World War One was happening, but we studied that in the beginning of the year. And so, uh, Britain came out of isolation and had an alliance with Japan to contain Russia because they saw Russia as a potential enemy at that time. And so Britain also was heavily involved in developing the Japanese Navy. And uh, they agreed that if either powers were attacked by two other countries, they'd come to each other's aid. And it greatly strengthened Japan's position against Russia. A war broke out in 1904, where uh, Admiral, and, and that war was, uh, you know, was fought. And it, one of the key t uh, turning points in that war was like I told you earlier, the Battle of Tsushima, over here. Oh, not, not this slide. I don't know when this happens. At the Battle of Tsushima, this was one of the key battles there, right? Like I said earlier, and. Uh, Spinning things are nice, but not when I need to move around. And in this battle, uh, Admiral Togo Heichachiro destroys the Russian fleet. It's all it's in your textbook. Uh, in the Tsushima Strait, only eighteen thousand Russian sailors were fighting. Only six thousand survived. And uh, and so here you have a situation where you have. You, in, the, in that naval battle, 12,000 Russian soldiers die, but only 116 Japanese soldiers die. And that's really the difference in the preparation that was done. Um, Russia lost on land as well, and which led to the Treaty of, Port, the Treaty of Portsmouth, where America came into the international stage and said, okay, okay, you two stop fighting. And there was Teddy Roosevelt who you know, stepped in and said, okay, you two stop fighting and work it out. But at that time, the world pretty much realized that Japan beat Russia. Yeah. America came in and said, which two countries? Uh, said to Russia and Japan to work out a peace between uh, Russia and Japan. And so, here's uh, some um, little cartoons. You have Japan and uh, England lying, and then here you have, who are these two? This is China Korea. and Korea under their control. You have Japan aspiring to Korea. Japan to the Great Bear, right? Where's the Great Bear, by the way? Where? Uh, in the sky, yeah, in the constellation. Japan to the Great Bear. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are up to. <laughs> right? So Japan has their foot in Korea, and, but uh, at the same time, um, Russia was looking at that as well. And so Japan decides to go to war, right? To Manchuria, steps over Korea. I hereby grant you the permit to traverse Korean territory. So Japan basically walks over Korea to get to Manchuria. To get to Manchuria. This is a picture of, of a propaganda before the Russo-Japanese War. And this was drawn by the Russians. The Russians expected this to be, we are going to beat you up. And you have the typical Asian face at that time where Russia, you know, was supposed to pummel the Japanese. But in fact, and, this, and all these political cartoons are in chronological order, Japan strikes a body blow 
upon Russia, and and this was one of, and these are all American Blow cartoons, and it, it, this caught, you know, here's you have the picture where Japan hits Russia. Russia's not quite down yet, but it was surprising, right? On the other hand, you have the Russo Japanese international riot. And these two guys, and these they're all fighting. You see a Chinese two here, but you see most of the Russians and Japanese fighting. And by the same time, they're telling him to don't play the innocent bystander act and saying, hey, you, America doesn't need to get involved to resolve peace. Uh, and so here you have a picture of, of uh, Japan and Russia fighting in Manchuria, Korea. This, it's kind of like uh, their stage, and the question is, who will win? Who will win out? And here you have you know, Uncle Sam and the other imperial powers looking, looking on at the fighting. And of course, in the back you have China peeking from afar. China is kind of involved. They're kind of interested in this. Japan takes down the giant of brass with the feet of clay. This is a more of a biblical image, right? In which uh, you take it down and where you and here you have the you know, army defeat, naval naval defeat. Not so terrible as it looks. And here you have the uh, Russian military prestige collapsing. Further on, Japan is well, the siege of Port Arthur for Arthur, another major victory for Japan. Japan is twisting um, the Russian finger and basically like, yeah, more, 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 more pictures of the success. <clears throat> just for the just for love of fair play, you have America intervening now. Say, hold on, son, don't strike him while he's down. Right, America steps in and say, hey, Japan, don't hurt Russia too much. Japan military cradle yesterday, and here you have. Old Lady Year of Heavens, he is getting too big for his cradle. I hope he won't knock it over and try to lick me. Uh, and, and what is this talking about, by the way? This lady is Old Lady Europe. Europe? Japan is going to take Europe. No, not quite. It means that Japan is much bigger than what they want. I mean, what European wanted to keep. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, no. yes, Japan is getting too big old for their cradle. Here's a baby cradle. Japan looks like a baby here, right? But Japan's outgrowing cradle of yesterday, meaning Japan is going to be independent soon, and Europe is slightly worried, but at the same time, you know, it's like, okay, Japan's outgrowing. It is, I mean, it's an outgrowing cradle, and it's time for them. So they're just kind of recognizing Japan is becoming uh, powerful enough. Why he was whipped. The Russian bear to the powers. Well, you see, I was just fighting for dinner while he was fighting for his life. Apologies to Aesop's fable, right? This is a, here's a fun here's, They're referring to Aesop's fable, where Russia lost Japan. And Russia was just fighting for dinner, and this guy was fighting for his life. <laughs> Why the Japs won? More of those uh, stereotypical, stereotypical Asian faces. The Japanese won because of patriotism, strategy, skill, bravery, fatalism, determination. 1904. This is a picture in the world's eye. What is this talking about? Well, 1904, they thought Russia was going Yeah, they thought, no, well, Russia was you know, prominent in the world's eye. But in uh, 1905, Japan. Eastern Monroe, you guys ever, you guys remember the Monroe Doctrine from grade 10? Yes. What's the Monroe Doctrine? Western Hemisphere is all USA. Yeah, Western Hemisphere is USA is and stay out, basically. America telling you have to stay out of our, stay out of America. And here you have the Eastern Monroe Doctrine, where you have Japan and, who is this? China. China and uh, Asia for the Asiatics, and you have Japan supporting China, and China, why are they holding their sword this way? Yeah, they're in trouble. They're in trouble. Yeah, they're they're still weak and they're staggering. And uh, who's in the back? The bear. The bear, right? You have the Russian bear. 
just falling down. And Japan at that time was pro uh, propagating the idea of the uh, Eastern Code Prosperity Sphere, basically saying that Japan is going to take care of Asia, just like America is going to take care of uh, West, the Western Hemisphere. And so the Japanese torpedo boats take down the Russian battleships, and the Tsar is running off 